Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus again. I woke up this morning and I was thinking about our ex-president Donald Trump. And I'm thinking about all of this revelation that is being made available to the public about this guy and how despicable it is and what people are thinking, many of them, especially those who can't stand him, weren't done to him. And as I thought about that, I also thought about Kyle Rittenhouse. You know the young man from Illinois, I believe, that uh, went to Wisconsin and took a few lives, feel big, has been celebrated as being almost a hero. Somebody said a rock star. Well, that had an effect, I'm sure, in many young men throughout the country uh, thinking about copycatting that. In fact, there was a young man by the name of Ethan Crumbly. I heard about, say, got a gun and went someplace to one of the schools in Michigan and shot up a few people. Well, I'm sure in his mind, he's white, he's young, getting a chance to exercise some of his feelings against people that he doesn't care about and probably thinking that he'd be held a hero, Justice Rittenhouse. Well, that brought me to another thought. When he came down to Crumbly, they, people, the powers that be, checked into the situation and determined that his parents held some responsibility in uh, what this young man was doing. The other one was excused. This one, his parents are held accountable as well. And it made me think about the 45th president of the United States. During that presidential election for 2016, every candidate <clears throat> for United States president as a Republican identified one candidate and everyone the same candidate as uh, paraphrasing a demon from hell. Yet the people pushed all of these warnings aside and those that brought these warnings and they chose the demon. Now a demon is going to be a demon. They empowered the demon. And so the other Republicans concluded that their party was not about decency. And so they themselves shelved their moral code as exemplified through their inaction to support the people and their action to support the demon. Now what we have here is an American creation from birth to this very date. This is as just a fact as slavery existed and is to this very date. Now, if you don't want to go forward, there is only one way to go, and that's backward. And as a result of that, the indication is you don't want to be held accountable for your failures. Not only that, you can't even admit it. You see, what we have is the representation of white supremacy, which is evil. And I want you to imagine, if you will, ladies and gentlemen, imagine peace. Imagine freedom, breathe it. Imagine prosperity. Imagine joy. Imagine your dreams being made real. Imagine your needs, your wants, your desires met at your leisure. Imagine it. Well, that's what America can be 
when she admits that this white supremacy is from the pit of hell and that blacks and people of color have been treated less than human and that we are putting that behind us and we're going to go forward and create a new America. Otherwise, these candidates who have shelled their moral codes have no business in positions of power where they have to make decisions that require honesty and fairness. But while all of this goes on, it gets worse. So I make the plea to you today, ladies and gentlemen, as I do every day. Let us be born again. Let us change our way. Let us change our mind. Let us change our heart. Let us walk different. Let us do what gives us joy. Till next time, Eddie Marcus say goodbye.